Hello. Welcome to the first Plant Cell Atlas Workshop, Session 1. My name is David Earhart. Um, I'm a, one of the co-organizers of this workshop. We'd like to start out by thanking uh, all the folks who've been involved in organizing this meeting and, in, and who will be involved in helping us carry this meeting out today. Starting with the organizing committee, uh, which consists of uh, Sue Reed, myself, Jiang Wong, Ken Birnbaum, Nick Malosh, and several postdocs and, uh, and, and junior scientists from Carnegie. I especially want to highlight the contributions of Selena Rice, Emily Fryer, and Suri Jha, who've done the lion's share of work in the actual organizing of the specifics for this meeting. Uh, in addition, we'd like to thank the steering committee, uh, a panel of distinguished international scientists, um, most all of whom uh, are in attendance at the meeting today. And we also want to acknowledge, uh, next slide please, uh, the folks who will be helping conduct the meeting, especially in the breakout rooms. We have a panel of 25 moderators as we intend to have 25 independent breakout rooms today. And each breakout room will also have a scribe. So we also have 25 scribes whom we would like to thank. Originally, this meeting was planned to be an in-person meeting for which we had the funding for just 90 participants. Of course, the global pandemic has forced us to um, redesign the meeting and to um, host it in a virtual form. But this has actually um, allowed us to um, expand the meeting dramatically. So we now have 316 registrants and they're much better distributed around the globe uh, and therefore much more representative of science around the globe than the original meeting was able to uh, afford. And secondly, uh, we initially had only 40% of, particip of the participants being a, uh, in a position as a junior scientist, whereas now uh, junior scientists comprise the great majority of participants, and we're very excited about this because we feel that the junior scientists are going to be the population who are going to carry this initiative into the future. So at this point, I'd like to hand the reins over to Sue Rhee, who will introduce you to the, uh, this, the uh, Plant Cell Atlas uh, initiative in general and to the contents of this first session in particular. Sue. Hey, David. Hi everyone, my name is Sue Ree from Carnegie Institution for Science. I am also very glad to see that most of you are early career scientists. I know that the current situation is particularly difficult for you and we're all very excited that you have decided to join us today. We're at the very beginning of the conversation about the Plant Cell Atlas and so you have an opportunity to shape how it unfolds. So I'd like us to begin by imagining a world where we know the functions of each molecule in plant cells and also we know where these molecules are located in the cells. In this new world, what types of questions do you think we should be asking? What types of theories will we be developing? And what are we going to be engineering and building? So by starting to imagine and discuss these topics, we hope to be able to develop a clear roadmap to get there. The main objective of the Plant Cell Atlas, therefore, is, is to create a community resource that maps all the components of plant cells from nano to macro scale resolutions. We imagine it including a data repository, uh, an information resource, maybe a Google Earth type of visualization platform for plant cells, and even a modeling environment. And last year, David Earhart, Ken Birbaum, and I wrote a, um, some ideas about this roadmap in trends in plant science. So to create a um, community around this concept, we are convening a digital workshop this spring to get your input on what the goals of the Plant Cell Atlas should be and how it should impact science and society. The workshop is composed of three sessions, of which today is the first session called Vision for Plant Cell Atlas. The second session will take place next week on tools and techniques, and the third session will take place on June 2nd on broader impacts and building um, the community. So the goals of today's workshop is first to clearly define what PCA should be, its purpose and goals based on your input, 
And secondly, to um, write a white paper to underscore the importance of uh, the PCA to funding agencies. And finally, to create a community where members can network with each other to develop collaborations and proposals. These are really the overall goals of the entire workshop series. Uh, the goals of today's session uh, specifically is first to think about and discuss what biological problems could drive and benefit from the PCA initiative, and also to think about and discuss what PCA means to each of us and how we should define it as a community. So now I'd like to hand over the mic to David to go over the logistics of today's workshop and introduce the speakers. David? So the uh, agenda today will consist of four parts. We'll start out with four talks uh, uh, that will comprise a, a period of about 20 minutes in total. Uh, we'd like people to hold their questions until all four talks are over, and then you can ask the questions in chat. Um, after we've had the uh, question and answer period, um, we'll move to breakout sessions, which will be about a 45 minute session. And the break, we'll have 25, about 25 breakout rooms, which should have about 10 participants, a moderator and a scribe in each room. We'll then rejoin after 30 minutes for um, a, a summary of what happened in the chat rooms and a, uh, and a discussion. Uh, in addition, there'll be some polling during uh, the rejoining period uh, that we uh, really uh, hope everyone participates in. So um, uh, we want to remind everyone to please keep your video stream off uh, during the talks to avoid problems with bandwidth. And if you'd like to tweet about the meeting, uh, the handle is on the screen here. It's at Plant Cell Atlas 2020. So today we have four uh, distinguished speakers. Uh, Dominique Berkman from Stan Stanford University, um, Uta Paskowski from Cambridge University, Luan Zhang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Martin Yonikas from Princeton University. Uh, we have a panel of junior scientist moderators who will be um, uh, introducing the individual speakers, and I'll hand you over to the first moderator right now, Suri Chow. Uh, 